Hey everyone, it's me, Remag, and today's video is going to be regarding NVIDIA Shadowplay again. They have recently updated it, as you may or may not know, and they've added microphone support. So this video is going to be testing or comparing the microphone in Shadowplay to the quality of, say, DX Tori's recording capabilities with the audio as well. So straight off the bat, I did notice that, unfortunately, with the NVIDIA Shadowplay microphone recording, you can't split it so you're basically gonna have to set all of the sound levels up before you start recording so you cut what if, if for example you record 30 hours or 30 minutes of gameplay not 30 hours that'd be crazy if you record 30 minutes of gameplay and then you realize the in-game volume is too loud there is nothing you can do about that if, if you're being drowned out by the game volume you can't change it later with DX Tori because the audio channels are split you can actually adjust them later in an editing suite so that's one benefit i think they need to do that with nvidia so at the moment i've got the volume set to let's have a look 20 percent. so this should allow you to hear my voice my my actual microphone volume is at 90 in in windows thingy um but yeah i'm going to be switching between them basically during this video so you can see the quality i think the quality of NVIDIA Shadowplay isn't quite there. I don't really know, there's no quality settings for the microphone, so I don't really know where it gets it from. So to make it fair, I changed the default recording format to exactly the same as I'm using with uh, with DX Tori, so there shouldn't be any, any variations there. So hopefully it sounds decent, but we'll see if it sounds the same as the DX Tori, basically. That is the purpose of the video. I'm not going to complete the whole round here. I'm just going to, this is just basically so I, you've, you've got the gameplay and the volume. So you're probably wondering how I'm doing it. Uh, basically, I've got, um, I've got DX Tori recording at uh, 720p at 30 FPS. And obviously, as you know, Shadowplay records at 1080p at 60 FPS. So I'm only really going to be using the, I'm going to be splitting out the audio channels from DX Tori and only using the audio in the video. I'll be, I'll be keeping the, the gameplay footage for the Shadowplay, uh, the 1080p footage throughout the video. I'll just be swapping out the sound, basically. So with DX Tori, as you know, you can actually take the game sound. So I'll, I'll, that's all I'm going to be doing. It's just taking the game sound. I died. And as you can see, I'm having to play as I I'm having to play the game as I talk and make this video because that's the only way you can really do it. Because, like I say, you can't really unless you just take shadow play gameplay footage and then put in the sound later. You can't do kind of running commentaries without actually obviously playing the game. So there we go. So let me know what you think about the sound quality. Whether you think there's a difference or whether it's very similar. I mean, it sh it sh it should be, you know, there should really be more set more options. That's that's all my only gripe with it. But uh, I can't fault the actual gameplay footage. That's really good. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, you know, I I I, I don't really want to just put you through a whole round. In fact, yeah, I'm going to put you through a whole round. You know, what? I'm going to fucking do it. Let's just let's just do it. One take gameplay. I did a few of these in the past. So I'll just keep talking so I can keep switching between the two and I'll let you know when I switch, obviously, so you know what's going on. But I'm, you know, it's uh, bollocks bollocks, isn't it, basically? But it's, it's a good game. Um, I'm running low settings, so it's probably going to look a bit uh, bollocks, but what can you do, I suppose? Beautiful, beautiful sun there, beautiful sun. I got shot in the back. So I'll see if I can get MVP, why not? I mean, <laughs> I don't know how many tickets this is. Hopefully it's not too long. If it is too long, I'll just kind of cut it out and go to a, uh, a, a pre-recorded ending. But hopefully it'll end in reasonable time and it won't be so, so bad. So I'm, I've settled for a sensitivity as well. I'm getting a new mouse. You may be interested to know I'm getting a new mouse tomorrow which is the same as what I've got but it's got a different texture it's like a rubber one I've got a steel series sensei and it's got a nice glossy bollocks shit finish on it and I don't like it because it gets a bit slippery especially if you've got your windows closed or something like that and it gets a bit warm in here but uh, the one I'm getting is the sensei raw which is actually really cheap it's like 32 quid or something and it has a rubberized surface so it's pretty much ideal for what I want and I'm gonna, I'll let you know how it feels and everything. It should be pretty much uh, 
pretty fine actually. It should be the same as this, so it shouldn't be any taking any getting used to or anything. Um, but like I say, the purpose of this video is for you to see the difference in sound quality. Hopefully, it's not too noticeable because otherwise it makes the shadow play mouse. I don't even know what fucking happened there. Don't even know what happened. I just fucking fell over. I tripped over and died, basically. Fun bloody times. But if there is obviously a pro like a quality problem, um, it's not ideal and people aren't going to be using it yet. But it's like I say, it's beta anyway, so they can improve it. I don't really know why they wouldn't give any options to split the, the channels, though. That is a bit disappointing because you'd, you'd think they would... Uh, that that is a bit obvious, isn't it? Because at the end of the day, you need to be able to adjust volume at levels when you're editing later on. Because if you don't get it right, otherwise, like bang on first time, you're in trouble. And, and no one no one wants to be in trouble. There's a nice trade for you. Oh, I've been res. Oh, shit. Fantastic. I'm, uh, one thing I did notice with uh, with Windows 8.1 is the for, for for sort of high quality microphones like for me I've got an Audio Technica 80 well it's a, a, a AT 2020 is its code name a USB mic and it's a condenser microphone and the it's very quiet with Windows 8.1 and there's other people that have complained about it as well including other microphones it's not just this microphone I'm not actually in a squad that doesn't matter but it's not just this microphone, I think it's most condensed microphones. They Windows 7, the volume is a lot more customizable out of the game, you know, so you can go to Windows settings and set it really high. And it's and it's it is really high, like you'd expect it to be, you know. But Windows 8 is not ideal, to say the least. So I hope I hope they, they, they fix that. How is that guy doing? He's having a love time on the tank, giving it a bit of a hump. <laughs> Oh gosh, golly gosh! So for those that uh, maybe don't know, I do I do stream on Twitch quite regularly now, and it's probably quite a similar experience to this because like, it's basically live gameplay um, of just me me trolling around shooting people. Basically, it's quite a I mean, you're dead fun time. So Twitch TV forward slash Remag UK, if you ever want to follow me on there. I, I've been doing it quite regularly. Uh, you can ask the people that have been watching. It's, uh, it's a regular thing these days. And every now and then, Jack Frags will join me, so you can uh, you can ask me or him some questions and how to how to maybe get better or or anything like that. I mean, I'm I'm not saying I'm great, but I'm pretty decent. Um, uh, yeah. So there we go. I mean, I don't know how long, how much further I can I can keep talking really. I'm I'm playing okay while I just yabber on, but the, the the video is just a test. I mean, you don't have to watch till the end. Let's just put it that way. I mean, if if you if you know your answer now, is this a good bloody idea to use Shadowplay to record your voice? Then you can go. I mean, you don't need to stay. You know, I'm not forcing you to stay. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just just you know. I thought I th I think. For for me, I would like to know, if I wasn't making the video myself, I'd like to know how the, the audio quality is before I started using it. So that's what I'm doing. That is my my objective for this video. And luckily, the freaking game's ending soon, according to the music. So that's great. I'm very happy with that. So I don't have to talk so much bollocks. I mean, I'm probably losing subscribers by the second right now. <laughs> but we're actually we are actually gaining subscribers, uh, which is nice. Uh, don't forget to watch uh, Two Angry Gamers TV, the jet ski joust. That was quite entertaining. I uh, I was there. I was one of the actors in that, and that was actually pretty fun. It's a fun idea. It's probably opening up a whole new branch to battlefields, water sports, and weird e, uh, e sports. I don't know, <laughs> whatever you would call it. But there we go. So this is the test to see which is better: Shadow Play or DX Tori for audio quality. If you found this useful and you're not already subscribed, please do. Like it if you also found it useful. Check out that fucking score. Wait, uh, get out of the way, chat. Here we go. There it is. Not bad. Tally ho.